Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse string review of Selenka's Torbite and Vanquish Hybrid. This hybrid combines a surgical and spin-friendly Torbite Copoly with ultra-soft Vanquish multifilament. The result is a perfect combination of spin, precision, comfort and feel. In addition to providing a rare combination of playability and durability, this versatile hybrid is at a price that's too good to refuse. I have this Selenko hybrid strung up in a Technofibe uh, T-Fight 300 RS and I wanted to use it in something a little bit lighter than my regular racket and also with an open string pattern to get a better test of the strings spin and durability uh, capabilities and I really enjoyed this string. I'm usually a full bed of Copoly is where I go. I love Torbay as a full bed. Um, I'm not usually a big hybrid fan, but I really found the groove very quickly with this setup. I like the spin it gave me. I got plenty of grip on the ball. I didn't lose any control, and that was my main concern, that the ball might fly on me. But I got plenty of grip to get that ball dipping inside the lines on both my aggressive ground strokes, as well as when I was looking to roll an angle or feather a drop shot. I just felt very dialed in control-wise with this string. Still got that really nice crisp and clean feel that I love from Torbite. And I had the Torbite in the mains, um, as recommended by Selenko, and the Vanquish in the crosses. And I think the thicker gauge of the Vanquish 16 gauge in the cross compared to the 17 gauge main definitely helped keep the nice firm and crisp and clean controlled feel from the string bed. Um, and also I think helped this string in the durability department because it lasted well. I didn't break it, I've been hitting it. Um, off and on for about a week and a half, so I've probably got about six or seven hours of court time on it. I don't hit a massive ton of spin, so I'm not a big time string breaker. And I thought the added comfort that this string brought with the Vanquish Cross really did a nice job of softening up and opening up that sweet spot of the racket. So uh, definitely a recommendation for me. If you've not tried a hybrid and you're just a poly player, I think this is a great way to go. You'll still get plenty of control and spin. You're definitely putting a bullseye on your back when you make a statement as these strings are heavenly. With this combination of the multi-filament Vanquish and the monofilament Tour Bite, the combination of this was just great. Plush all the way through. For any player that really likes that low power, high control feel of a full bed of a monofilament but is looking for a higher degree of comfort, this is definitely a great way to go. I went with the same uh, Tour Bite main and Vanquish on the crosses as recommended by Chris and uh, Selenko as well. Overall, in this 97D, it is a tighter pattern, so my durability level was great. I was really happy to hear that Chris tested it out in terms of a wider spread. Um, overall, the launch angle, the dwell time, everything. It was a very sticky, obedient uh, string bed overall, and that's exactly what I want my racket to be, is very obedient and predictable. Overall, this is just a great string bed overall. I would lean on this, especially during the hotter climates in the summer, when I know uh, full beds of monofilaments really don't stand up to the heat and the climate change. So the tension maintenance was stellar all the way through from start to finish, one of my favorite hybrids I've played with thus far. Both Mark and I had this string strung up at 52 pounds, both in mains and crosses, both in my Technofiber and also in Mark's V-Core Pro 97D. For more information on this string or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only.